And we're back. Dark and Random Mass Effect 3. Hello. Yep. Last time we did some unpleasant business with the Asari. Stopped Samara from killing herself stupidly. What is it with people wanting to kill themselves yeah. in this series? Yeah, I mean, with how long the Koran event said. Uh, I guess some people just feel like taking the easy way out. I don't know. And, yeah. did, and did some biz at the Citadel. Oh yeah, we did do that. So now, well, let's take a look. We still have some business over here with ex-server scientists. Oh, Stuff my. that I don't know if it will even work right. Story content. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Side quests! Side quests! <laughs> I like the description here. Gellix was given to the Krogan after the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan Rebellions, and reconquered by the Turians. This left the Turians as caretakers to a levo-amino acid-based world that they could not inhabit themselves, but were unwilling to give up. The co -op in cooperation with the Vol Protectorate, the Turians attempted to rent the planet out for colonization. Between the high price and surface litter with unexploded ordnance, however, Gellix found few reputable tenants. It is most notable inhabitants were penal colonies. To those who know it today, Gellix is a symbol of tragic waste. An entire garden world nearly forgotten by the galaxy at large. Like, we can't use this, but we're not giving it up. Sounds about right. Let's see, we're going to be dealing with Cerberus. ED would come in handy. Oh my. Yeah, probably. Mm. And, um... The armor probably would too. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, the, the riot shield, she can yank them. Oh, yeah. And my mouse is a bit blurry, out. but it doesn't really bother me. And as long as the recording's fine, that's all that matters. It should be fine. And let's yeah. see. My mouse keeps fucking up. Hmm. It's annoying. I might have to replace my mouse sooner or later. Which is annoying because it's a, damn, ex it's a damn expensive mouse. Yeah, I might have to replace my gamepad sooner or later. Oh. And my CPU. And my motherboard. You might have to just replace your computer yeah. after a while. Yeah. I have to, I just don't have the money for it. One step at a time, Fox. One step at yeah. a time. Slowly saving up for that. Hey, as long as you don't need a graphics card nowadays. <laughs> no, that one's... That one's right. mostly up to date. Price. Like, it's not the newest Sir, one, but I'm not gonna have to change that one in a while. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. The view, however. Well. At least according to all of the checkups and stuff, my CPU can currently use about 1% of my graphic card. <laughs> yeah, I think it might need an upgrade. Jacob! You know, that, the guy we haven't seen since the last game. Oh, yeah. That guy. You know, the black guy with daddy issues. Totally not a racial stereotype. Yeah. It's amazing that that's not something Mass Effect 2 got some shit for. Not that you mentioned it. No, they gave Mass Effect 2 plenty of shit for Operation Overlord, even for how it handled uh, people with autism. 
even though I've spoken to people with autism about it and they say it's actually very accurate to how they sometimes are treated. But, uh, you know, the game journals clearly know better, right? Totally. Of course, we arrived just in time for everybody else to die. Yeah. That's you, sure. Hey, I forgot I have biotics. Bonk. So I don't have my favorite biotic power. Otherwise, I'd be using it more often. Gonna suck to you. Talk about a bad way to die, right? Ammo. Probably gonna need that later. Give me a hand over. It looks pretty good. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. And you live. Fucking better. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. <laughs> hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Thanks, and you as well. Shepard, this huh. is Dr. Bryn Cole. Unique dialogue, huh? Mm -hmm. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Oh, that's right. Because remember, Liara didn't work with uh, us during the last game, except during her personal thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Bummer, I think it's like a comic or something that bridges uh, the space between the opening of Mass Effect 2 when the Normandy got blown up and Se Shepard being revived. Oh, like, right, because she had helped find. Yeah, she find helps. Us. Yeah, she helped, like, Jacob and Miranda recover our body. Uh, that makes sense, no? Yeah, I never read any of that stuff, but I know about it. Why does the illusion yeah. man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the collector base to work on You're not too much. Of a large attack. Pretty much. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Accurate. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob did not recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. Like, this might not be the best time for that. <laughs> I don't appreciate that kind of negativity. Mm. Commander Shepard, Doctor Gavin Archer. Speaking of Overlord, Project Overlord. Uh, yeah. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. 
I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard that he's the quite the timing. Yeah. And see, if we just let him worry, he'll actually go shoot himself. Out of guilt. Or if we didn't go do Grissom. At least that says that he actually cared about this afterwards. Yeah. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. It's like at least he's come to realize he was wrong. Yeah. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right in the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every soul yeah, soldier shit. in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of him living the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. That's good. Cool, I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. And I'm Yay. Out. And my mouse. There we go. Are useless. Get the text from Stockholm cells, pack your own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. Yeah, you have a one-man army here. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? Forty-three, plus research assistants. How did you maintain secrecy with that many? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? A dangerous choice. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Calm oh, down. Commander Shepard's here. So what? So relax. We've got a little time. I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah. He's Commander Shepard. The universe literally waits for him. <laughs> Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? They wouldn't have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life. 
where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? Well, aren't you an idealist? What's your relationship mm. with Jacob? We went through Do a lot. Do you want to fight for something? An old colleague of his introduced Might as well be a good idea. Through Jacob's <laughs> eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Personal log from Bryn Cole. With Jacob's help, we've managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were, in fact, killed. Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Makita, Scott, Daniel, Chunai, Anika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace. Just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? Yeah, well, like you just said. Merchant, your work, I guess. Yep. You want the elusive man to find this stuff? Of course not. That's why we ran. We can't just leave it for him. I'd be real if I could have a set of armor like this. Oh. <laughs> That's all I would fucking wear. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turi. So pricey. Hmm, that might come in handy. Hmm. Maybe making an antidote for it. Perhaps. Personal log, Damini Singupta. Attempts are ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it's obvious that the delivery system w was to be implant reliant, with evident, n evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong in particular was hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole, which lead us to chilling conclusions. But we are nowhere near figuring out what said hole might be. And that is what scares me the most. Understandable. I'm going to die this evening. I'm in here. Let me. I'll approach it and meet you at the shuttle bay. I don't want to die. Go. Just go. No, no. I'm okay. Let's just do this. I mean, no point in him just going when we still haven't re-enabled the guns. Yeah. Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well... Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. 
It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. I take offense to that. The Normandy is not Tally. Yeah, come on. <laughs> also, I don't know if you caught it, but whenever Shepard puts his hands behind his back, those massive shoulder plates just kind of turn facing entirely forward. It's kind of funny. Yeah. It's kind of funny because there's no way they could do that. Not when they're that big. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. Meanwhile, if you're playing Femshep and you and you romanced him in the previous game, you can and probably will call him out on his shit right there. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. You ever talk to him again? Last I heard, he was rotting in an alliance prison in Vancouver. He asked me to visit. Never did. And yeah, fair enough. And Vancouver is probably not still standing. Probably. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Yeah. Alright then, let's get to it. <clears throat> Our final motor. Yep. Outpost report, Jack Jacob Taylor. Outpost now 48% operational. We've reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us a buffer should Cerberus agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us some shielding on the black market. Yeah, it looks like you didn't really have time for that. Mm. Level up! What time mean? Crazy. Now that's useful. These civilians are no coming out of this. That did look rather useful. Accurate. <laughs> well, you know, if that militia includes Commander Shepard. M6 Carnifex. But I have a bigger <laughs> gun. Yeah, I won. Hmm. <laughs> oh, they spotted me. I was, oh. I was debating what to use to blow it up. <laughs> okay, it's not tracking. You missed. No shit, I thought it was gonna track. Hmm. Okay, so uh, wherever this Thompson guy is, I'm about to blow, blow him to King of Stone. Okay. Uh, one of the troopers shouted, Go cover Thompson on the satellite. Hmm. That's a turret. I get the feeling your name is Thompson. Where'd you go? There you are. Hey, don't die. Did I die? No, I'm just telling you not to. Then shut up. It's usually better if I tell you before you die rather than after. Yeah, but it's not as funny. Yeah, fair enough. See, the better than having to repeat it, though. Huh? 
Buddy, you're about to have a bad day. He had a bad day. Indeed. I'm dead. Oh, it's over there. Activate AA guns. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to restart my computer after this episode and see if that helps. Oof. Yeet! turret up there. You don't need that shield, do you? Get down. No, 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 no. Yeah, I noticed Liara. Thanks yes. for telling me. What did she say? She says, she Shepard, Cerberus has the gun. You know, the big gun up there. No shit! Like, I fucking noticed! I wonder, can I take a pot shot at him? Oh, I didn't bring my sniper rifle. Hi there. Great combat roll, mate. You went from being out of cover to out of cover. Where's the other one? I know there's another one up there. Oh, he knows I'm down here. That's for sure. Oh, I'm done. I did not intend to clamp, clamber that. Okay, can't penetrate that. <laughs> Oh, you're not dead. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually. We'll be fine, right? Yeah. Anyone else? Now, how exactly did you activate? Uh. Oh, probably that. That is way too easy to activate and deactivate for time yeah, No shit you me. Yeah. It's almost like we trust a robot with mechanical repairs. Go on. Big gun. That one. <laughs> You know, the whole tactic of opening the opposite, opposite uh, side door to shield your uh, troops doesn't really work if, doesn't really work if they still drop exposed. It's like they just land on like, exposed terrain with no cover. But so, come on. They're supposed to be like 
well trained people. Oh, fuck the ninja. I ain't got time for this shit. Ain't got time to bleed. Know why you didn't just push it in yourself? Hmm. Good question. shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? J Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. It's basically just saying, are you ready to finish the mission? And um, I guess we are. Yeah. We've already grabbed everything. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shell launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. It wouldn't be so easy now, would it? Point blank to the guy with the shotgun is a brilliant idea. Jacob, bring up the main door. Go. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Problems can't Medi Gel solve. No, not go. Here's the real question. Except depression. <laughs> I don't think you can heal depression. Oof. Here's the question though. It can bring you from literally the brink of death in the middle of combat. But can it cure COVID? Question I want. That's the real question. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of weapons. I mean, apparently, it also kind of your cutscenitis, so. <laughs> See, listen, that's the most crippling disease known to man. Right, right, right up there with lemon syndrome. Oof, don't even remind me of that one. Ninja! Uh oh, ninja's coming for me. Where's 
the ninja. Is the ninja dead? No, it is not. Fuck off. Ninjas can also insta kill you. He was about to do the big on my wa motion. Or something like that. Pretty much. Oh. It's a Thor. That was the name, right? Atlas. Atlas. Eh, yeah, it does. I mean, it's not the battle take Atlas, so. Uh oh. You alright? Turret. Don't die. Oh my god, that turret's gonna ruin me. Come on your own. Wouldn't wouldn't be enough to keep, take that thing out. Sounds like you need a stronger turret then. Yeah. We noticed. Roger that. Should we feed everyone in there? Out by the skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard. When this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Sounds so far like drinks are going to be on a lot of people. <laughs> it just means we like I've heard that line before. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can Indeed. get the crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Yay, that's one more side quest complete. Yeah. And Did you probably know? more wild assets and stuff. Yeah. And money. Yeah, you know, in, th cool. in theory. With all the cybernetic augment Shepard has, alcohol tolerance is probably through the roof. Yeah, probably. Dr. Bryn Cole, Gavin Archer, ex server scientists, more ex server scientists, Jacob Taylor. Of course. I mean, we could literally launch uh, the end game offensive right now, and we'd, and we'd, and we'd still, still be able to win. Yeah, but we might as well feel the bar. And you know, do whatever we can to get it higher and higher. Yeah. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Uh, uh top tier victory. Of course. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining 
we're going to crush the Reapers. Yeah. Eh, maybe not that much, yeah. but you know. She's got a point. Mm. Anyway. Well, I guess That's... next time we will be going to speak to Dr. Chakwas. Yeah. And I... I'm going to refresh my computer. Alright. See you next time. Bye.